Powercom Chief Executive Officer Elisa Amopolo said that the towers will assist with better bandwidth connectivity throughout the nation. But the ultimate goal is to ensure that where there are coverage gaps, maybe you're only able to make a call but you're not able to download, you have increased capacity, you have better quality of service in terms of the bandwidth that you use, whether it's 3G or 4G. And that can only be eliminated by providing more infrastructure because the existing ones, with the growth of the city, it becomes congested. So it's just about any communication, end-to-end -end communication services to end users through our operators, which are now our customers. City of Vintuk Mayor Job Amupanda said that they want to become a smart city before his team's term comes to an end. We want to be a smart city. Uh, the previous regime said uh, by 2022, next year, uh, or oh, what we are saying is that we want to be a smart city. We're not indicating that it's 2030. Uh, if it can happen in six months' time, so be it. Uh, but of course, we want to do that within our uh, period. So we are very excited to hear the good work that uh, Powercom is doing and the towers that they want to build, particularly in Windu in the informal settlement. It's good for us, for our children to be able to have access to studies and things like that. We also discussed how uh, Powercom could assist us in terms of their corporate social responsibility, particularly in the informal settlement. Amupanda stated that he is very happy to witness the first approach towards Vintuk becoming a smart city.